Victoria. It's three days of high octane athletics uh, featuring a host of the country's biggest names in track and field. For more, let's cross to SABC Sports' Udo Carlser for the latest. Udo, day one done. What were the headline performances? Simon, I tell you, it was a blisteringly hot day in the nation's capital here at the Alci de Villiers Stadium. Now, aside from what we're going to look at specifically, there was Stephen Makoka who came back after a year's absence and just completely demolished the field in the 10,000 metres. Dominic Scott Erford is back in South Africa and she eventually pulled off a national championship in the women's 5,000 metres. Luva Manyonga out here, he qualified quite easily for uh, the long jump. That's going to be a competitive final come Saturday as well. But a couple of records being shattered on day one year of the ASA 2018 track and field championships. Karina Horn, for instance, she was a bright light, even though the lights are fading in the background here, here very quickly, because uh, that record, 100 meter record for women, has been standing since uh, 1990. Yvette de Clark, of course, set the 11.06. Karina Horn equaled it in 2015, just a couple of years ago. And today, that's how she finished off. It uh, clocked 11.05 on the official uh, stadium clock here, but uh, when they looked at the figures, eventually it uh, was narrowed down to an 11.03. So that is the new national 100 meter mark for women and Karina Horn is the proud record holder and that was in a semi-final so we wait to see what happens in the final. We will have a new champion there of course with Alyssa Connolly injured at the moment. In the men's, now let me just remind you of course last year at the championships we had Tando Roto, we had uh, Wade van Niekerk and Akari Simbine on the rostrum as they finished in uh, their respective gold, silver and bronze medal positions. Two of those, not here because of injury. We went into the semi-finals. Akani Simbine was meant to line up in the middle lane. In his semi-final, he pulled up with a hamstring injury. Now that means that we will also, in the men's 100-meter finals tomorrow, have a brand new champion. In fact, a brand new podium from gold all the way through to silver and bronze. But here's how some of the semi-finals uh, went uh, out a little bit earlier today, just to whet the appetite for what that final will be like. Tweede semifinaal in die mans 100 meter, Enrico Brenk is er eerst een gewen en hier in actie het ons baan een 4 en 5. Simon Magakwe, voormalige ESA kampioen en die ETM, voormalige ESA rekordhouwer op die baan in 2014 opgestel. En aan sy buitenkant, Anasso Jobodwana, Jobodwana ook, een voormalige ESA rekordhouwer, maar in die 200 meter. En hier is er een actie tegen mekaar in die 100 meter. Ons gaan drie nieuwe medaliste hierdie jaar in die 100 meter. Kan die Sambine beseer, Wade van Niekerk beseer, Tando Roto beseer. Drie medaille winners van verlede jaar en as ons kyk na nieuwe medailles hierdie jaar en Simon Magakwe het goed begin en as al Jobadwana het werk om te doen hier kom Jobadwana, Magakwe bly voor hom. Uitstekend hier Simon Magakwe. 10.11. Vinniger is Breinkies ook, Magakwe is terug. En dan as al Jobadwana sal moet werk in die weg spring as hy na by Magakwe wil kom in die finaal. En kijk net hoe gelukkig is Simon Magakwe met daar die wetloop. If you look at the start here, you'll see Magakwe coming out quite well. Not as well as the man in lane two, that's Harrod Wickens. Struggled in the heat, did Wickens, but in the final looking much better. But it is Magakwe getting into his running first. Shedrick van Veik ran well in the heat and struggling there in lane three. Jobodwana chasing all the way. So too Malesela in lane 6, but it is Simon Mahakwe, 10.11, he'll be very, very happy with that. Well in hit 3, or rather semi-final 3 of the men's 100 meters, it looks like a much more open field. Sabelo Samkelo in lane 4 and Roscoe Engel in lane 5, probably the favorites here, Roscoe Engel coming back into some form after that 150 meters last week. And also his 100 meter heats look good, just needs to be a little bit more relaxed at the start. But he will power out there in lane 5 from the Western Province. Also in this from Athletic Scouting North. Look out for lane 3, Keenan Michal. And it is Michal actually starting very fast. Roscoe Engel struggling at the moment, but he is coming through on his outside. Dando Dlodlo. Dlodlo and Engel are going. Roscoe Engel manages to get it on the line. 10.08. That's a brilliant time for Roscoe Engel. No wonder he's waving that finger in the air. That is such a great run by Roscoe Engel. And you'll see he struggled a bit at the start. It is Tandu Lordlo, the youngster. He ran 10.15 in the heats. And Roscoe Engel's previous personal best was 10.19. And at 29 years of age, 
Engel comes through and runs at 10.08. Look at Lordlaw there in second place. Possibly another personal best for him. But Engel is so happy with that and he has very good reason to be. <laughs> Semi-finals were hard fought, but an even harder battle lies ahead in the 100 meter final. Those are the top qualifiers and Roscoe Engel tops the list with a massive personal best. 10.06 for him. Mahakwe showing he's on his way back. Enrico Branke says he has a lot left for that final. 11 Batando Lolo, also a new national junior record. He also anchored the 4x100 meter relay team to a new junior record. So those are the three records we're talking about. On to the grand finale, the world record that was run today. And for that, we have to go to a man who was a double gold medalist, of course, at the Rio Paralympic Games. Well, the 100 meters for men in the mixed para category. What that basically means is these athletes all running in different classifications, according to the World Paralympian Association. Look out for Charles de Toy in the T37, double gold in the Rio Paralympics in the 100 and the 400. He's also the world record holder in the 100 meters. Also in this race, Diane Bass going in lane one in the T38 category. And Union Tikalwe, good start there by Diane Bass. Union Tikalwe right on his outside and uh, in uh, lane seven, it's Mpumelo and Klongo in the T44 category running well. Charles de Toy coming through there. Looks like he's right next to Diane Bass. The winning time there for Mklongo, 11.28. A great race by all these men. Charles de Toy very, very close there to Mklongo and Diane Bass. You can see they're in lane one, Diane Bass. T38 category, Charles de Toy, lane six in the T37, and then Mpumelo Mflongo, T44, crossing the line first. These athletes all in different classifications, as we've said. The Charles de Toy, double Rio medalist, or gold medalist rather, looking very good in that race. Great run there by Mpomelo Mklongo for first place, 11.26. Diane Bass winning his personal battle with Union Sekalwe in fifth. But the day belongs to Charles de Toy, a new world record in the T37 category. He betters his own mark of 11.42 by running 11.41 seconds. So three national records and a world record, and it's only day one of the ASA 2018 Track and Field Championships. And tomorrow, of course, the 100 metres will come to a head. Simon Burke, I'll leave it up to you to discuss uh, who the new champions will be in both the men's and the women's race. For now, though, that's uh, the highlights from day one from here at Alcida Villiers in Swane. Udo, thanks so much for that comprehensive analysis of day one. We look forward to the rest of the days. You and your team doing a great job. Thank you so much. Right, so there you go, athletics are back.